Okay, so now let's add some some uh, movement to the ball, sorry. Let's add some movement to the ball because if we hit play, you can see that the ball does not move and we want the ball to move in, in any direction. We will make it move in the direction 1-1. One, one. So one along the x-axis and one along the y-axis. So we want the ball to initially move diagonally up, up right. So to do this, we need to actually create a new behavior for the ball. So the way we create a new behavior is by going here to the project view, selecting create, C-sharp script, and we're going to call this C-sharp script ball capital uppercase b remember to name your classes with an uppercase hit enter and just to keep things organized let's create two folders let's create a new folder we call this folder scripts and let's create another folder right click and, and create folder let's create a folder called sprites this is just to keep things organized because as your projects get bigger and bigger and bigger you will you will need different folders to just organize everything that you have here in your project so now that we have our folders, just drag the ball script to the scripts folder and drag the square to the sprites folder like this. All right. So now let's go inside the scripts folder and just double click in the ball script to open it in Visual Studio. So now we have opened the script here in Visual Studio. This is the script of the ball. So now what we have to do is that we need to declare or define what we're going to need for this script. So we're going to need, first of all, a uh, speed for the ball. So let's declare that. So public load speed. I'm making this variable public because we want to actually edit it, set the value for the speed from the inspector. So that's why I'm making it public. We also need a direction, so vector2 direction. And I make it a vector2 because the direction is going to have, the direction of the ball is going to have an x component and a y component. Okay, that's why I'm making it of type vector2. And we also need access to the rigid body of the ball because we're going to move the ball by accessing the velocity of the rigid body of the ball so right now if you don't know what it means it's, it's okay just type in rigid body 2d rb and what is the rigid body well as you can see if we go back to the unity editor and we select the ball you can see that the ball has a transform component and it also has a sprite renderer component so these are components so we can add in as many components as we want if you click here in that component and you will see that there are many many different types of components so we're gonna add in the rigid so look for rigid body 2d and when we add this rigid body 2D, what we're doing is that we're saying that we want this game object, the ball object, to be affected by physics. So now we hit play, you can see that the ball will fall down because the ball is now a rigid body. And by that, it's, being also, it's also being affected by gravity. But for the purpose of our, of our game, we don't want the ball to be affected by gravity. So let's change the gravity scale to zero. Now if we hit play, you will see that the ball does not fall. So it's not the body is not being affected by gravity but it's a, it has a rigid body so we can access the property of, of the rigid body called velocity to change the position of the ball okay so now let's go back to the script and now what we can do here is that we can say that rb is equal to get component open and close angle brackets and then inside just type in rigid body 2d open parentheses and close parentheses like this and with this line of code what we're saying is that we want the rb to be equal to this rigid body over here all right so we have that done we have the reference to the rigid body now what we can do is that we can say direction equals vector 2 dot 1 dot normalized and with this line of code what we're doing is that we're saying that we want the direction to be equal to the vector 2 dot 1 vector 2 dot 1 is the same thing as saying 1 1 1 and we want it normalized because we just want the direction uh, we, we're just interested in getting the direction, not in getting, in getting uh, the, the magnitude of the, of the vector, right? We want the, so if you normalize a vector, what you're doing is that you're getting the same vector. So you're getting the direction of the vector with a magnitude of 1. And we want the magnitude to be equal to 1 because we're going to multiply this direction times the speed. So, so now we, we can update the, the position of the ball. And we can do so in the update method, but because we're accessing the physics of the ball, we're going to do this in the fixed update method. So the fixed update method is just like, it's similar to the update method. It's called once per frame, but uh, the fixed update method is fixed. So it's always, the, it's always called a certain amount of times, and that certain amount of times does not vary. While the update method can sometimes be called uh, more times or less times, right? It can be called 60 times or maybe 50 times per second. But this, this fixed update is called a, a, partic a certain amount of times and it doesn't vary.
So inside here we're going to play with the we're going to we're going to update the position of the ball so we can get rid of the update method because we're gonna we're not gonna use this for the for the ball script and inside the fixed update method we're just going to say rb.velocity so rb.velocity is equal to a vector 2 so the vector 2 that we're gonna give the velocity is going to be the direction times the speed like this all right so now that we have this we can save the script hitting control s we can go back to the unity editor and if we hit play you can see that nothing happens this is because we have created the ball script but we have not attached the ball script to our ball so select the ball and here in the inspector add a component let's look for the ball script and let's set a speed of 4 for example and now if we hit play you will see that the ball will move in the direction 1 1 with a speed of 4 all right so everything's working properly in the next video we'll see how to make the ball collide with the walls and I'll see you in the next video.